It's May 14th, 2019. It's Tuesday. It's Harp Tuesday. Welcome to this episode. I'm going to do a fairly short look at playing three against four. So a little while ago, I did um, an episode on two against three in the WC's first Arabesque. You should be seeing a link somewhere around here. And currently, I'm looking at a couple of pieces that have a three against four rhythm. That's the Fantasy Impromptu by Chopin. And I'm also taking a little look at the uh, William Matthias Santa Fe Suite and the third movement in that, the Sun Dance, has a bunch of three against four. And I thought I'd just talk about how, how to play that, or at least how I would approach that. And again, it's, it's all mathematical, right? We can break it down mathematically. So anytime you're dealing, it's, it's like fractions. Anytime you're dealing with two different type of fractions, we need to create a common denominator. And the easiest way to do that is multiplying the two denominators. So we have groups of three and groups of four, triplets and, and, and groups of four, that we want to create a common denominator. So we multiply three times four and we get 12. So we're going to subdivide each group, in this case, you know, each, I guess, quarter note beat. Um, it's going to have both a group of four and a group of three equal notes. And we'll subdivide that into 12 and we get this I did another little chart just as I did in um, in the WC. So we've got a total of twelve these twelve beats, and we can see, for example, here's the triplets. Here's the triplet line, and they come on beat one, two, three, four, beat five, six, seven, eight, beat nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ignore these little lines. I'll talk about them in a moment. And with the triplets, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And so you can see those triplets, they're equally spaced, right? Every three beats. And the uh, the fours are equally spaced. Sorry, the fours. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a long day. Uh, and the threes are equally spaced every four beats. And so then this visually and mathematically can let us see how they interact with each other, right? It's together, pause, pause, the, the group of four, then the triplet, then nothing, the four, nothing, triplet, four. Blah, blah. Said that way, it's, it's kind of hard to grasp. But for me, what I would prefer and intend to do would be to look at the fastest moving notes, the fours, and think about how the threes are placed against the fours, right? How they interact with them. So I would like to be feeling one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You can see I've drawn these these beats, these group of four beats. And I might break that down to just think of them as triplets, right? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And we see that the the actual triplets come together, right? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So together, then we get the second group of fours, and it's one, two, three, there's that triplet. And then the third group of fours, one, two, three, one, two, three. Or we could also think of, so here's the first group of four. The second one, the triplet responds immediately after, right? So one, two, boom, three, and then this is a response into the last beat, boom, 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 bing, boom, 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 bing, bing, boom, 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 boom. Let me, let me try playing that on the, um, on the Santa Fe suite, for example, because you haven't heard that. Uh, I don't know this that well yet, but uh, I'm just kind of repeat a little section here. So here we have these, these group of four, for example, and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and we know that one, two, three, 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 one, sorry, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, three, one, two, three. Ah, normally I'm pretty good at counting out loud and, and playing, but uh, let me let me try that again. One, two, three, 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 one. And again, if 
I feel that, if I'm feeling this downbeat and thinking that, you know, each of these is a downbeat, boom, 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 thinking about the response of where the other note in the other hand is coming, right, so it's together, boom, ba, right, this is ba, that one, two, three, and then one, two, three, one. is it speeds up maybe you lose track of feeling those those triplet pulses within you know one two three 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 and so it can be good to go back and slow down a little bit and make sure that's and just check in check in with that but that's 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 how it works. So hope you enjoyed that and um, look for a new episode in two weeks time. Thanks for watching. Cheers.